Our aim uh, at the end of June was to put on the table the budget which is rational, which is not provoking the net payers because I know what does it mean for the Dutch or Swedish or German taxpayers to see the rescue packages for Greece, Ireland, Portugal and, uh, and their contribution to the European budget on the other hand. Therefore, we have proposed a budget which is not growing, only inflationary adjustment between 2014 and 2020. But there is inside the shift towards poorer countries, therefore a good message for Romania. Of course, we cannot expect from, from, the, from the net payers to say that this is perfect. What I expected, and they are saying so, that this is a good basis for negotiations. It can be uh, corrections are possible, but not replacement with the other proposal as it was in 2004. This, was, this is our lesson. Financial tax transaction and financial tax transaction revenues. What should be the expectations from, from this? The so-called only sources to build the European Union, not just contributions from Bucharest, from uh, Rome, from Warsaw, this is in the treaty that Europe should be based on own resources. But we are trying to be realistic. National contrib contribution will remain as a main source of revenue for the European budget. What is good in time of austerity is to reduce the national contribution and partly replace, partly replace via some new own resources like financial transaction tax. I think this is coming for Europe. This is the result of the crisis. This is the lesson from the crisis. The only question is whether it is only national revenue or also could be the, um, the European revenue. I hope that this is also the European revenue allowing us to reduce the national contribution. I'd like to ask you now what about the regional policy. Does anything change in, in the new budget that is going to come? Regional policy is, is one of the major spending blocks should be uh, with so-called Connecting Europe Fund, that is the, the fund to finance trans-European networks, and fortunately lines from Hamburg to Constanza are a part of this European corridor, so the gas, uh, energy, gas corridor, corridor, so Romania is on the map of this Connecting Europe, uh, Connecting Europe uh, Fund. Uh, cohesion and agriculture will remain as a major part of expenditure, however nominally frozen, not to the disadvantage of poorer countries, in order to find money for research, development, external policy, immigration, and, and the other parts of uh, on the finance um, uh, parts of the of a f uh, budget. So uh, that is now a question of negotiations. And I do believe that Romania will be an, ac an active player. To be an active cl player, you need to be credible. In order to be credible, you need to uh, improve uh, visibly absorption. I'd like to ask you now about Greece, because you mentioned earlier that uh, Greece uh, or the European Commission will buy time for Greece. But it's the second time. It is wise to expect Greece and others creditors that um, Greece will buy time forever. What about the moral hazard? Uh, that is a, the other dimension of European solidarity. Greece uh, is uh, in absolutely dramatic crisis situation. The first package is not working, clearly. But is, there is no improvement. So now they are confronted with much more severe conditions, and conditions also for Portugal and for, for Ireland, but uh, most severe for Greece to prove that we are buying time for them in order to improve. I don't, I, I'm not here to speculate what is the future, but here is the positive scenario. We are buying time and Greece is doing its homework. Let's hope that in the coming months it is looking better than, than so far. Greece out of the Eurozone might be an option in your opinion? I'm not uh, ready to speculate. The speculation is the domain of financial markets. If somebody is, feels responsible for the future of, of, of European projects, and I feel really very much responsible for the future of, of European projects, we should do our utmost for the better scenario. Better scenario is still uh, to have improved Greece as a part of improved Eurozone. In terms of countries like Romania that want to join the Eurozone, it is wise to expect a, a softening of the Maastricht criteria in order to join the Eurozone? No, no, no. I have what is coming, and that is for sure, uh, the Eurozone is under the reconstruction. 
all the weak points of Eurozone construction are now revealed by the crisis. This was not visible uh, uh, since uh, for 10 years, but now this is very much visible. And the only way to improve, um, to reconstruct, is to impose much more of uh, financial discipline. For me, also, I think so-called constitutional internal domestic breaks are very important because this is they are very serious for domestic politicians, not only the influence and sanctions from Brussels, but also domestic law not allowing, like in Germany, like in Poland, for example, to make that uh, more than 50% of GDP. And my last question, Commissioner Lewandowski, it's about, uh, it's about uh, Romania. Do we have the chance to get out of the excessive deficit proce procedure soon, or what are the, the perspectives? Uh, now, the fiscal consolidation for everybody is much more difficult under the uh, slowdown of economy. Uh, everybody is so much dependent upon the European market and we have lower forecast, downgraded forecast for Europe for 2011 and for 2012. This is not helping. Everybody understands. But y Romania is on the road to recovery. This is visible. This is not visible in Greece. This is visible in Romania. Everything else is on, uh, for negotiations. I am happy that in case of Romania, so-called balance of payments facility involving European budget, but also IMF assistance is, is working. This is much easier part of our job that, um, than in southern uh, Mediterranean part of Europe. Commissioner Lewandowski, thank you very much for joining us here at the Money Channel. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank thank you. Am văzut așadar interviul în exclusivitate pentru The Money Channel cu domnul comisar Ianuș Lewandowski, comisar pentru buget și proiecție financiară.